we're going to practice highlighting. Um, it's like reverse shading. We're going to work with a white colored pencil and uh, black paper. If you do not have black paper, you can just do this in reverse with a regular um, number two graphite pencil. Okay, let's get started. So you'll need to find something round to trace. You can trace the outside of a cup. I'm using uh, masking tape and I just want to trace a circle on my black construction paper. I'm just using construction paper and I'm only using a half sheet of construction paper. I cut the other half off so I could use it for another time. Okay, um, the next thing I'm gonna want to do is I'm going to want to choose my light source is coming from like in front of the sphere. So it's gonna hit the top and really lighten up the top of the sphere and then gradually it'll become less light until the black paper takes over and creates the dark shadow, okay? So this is kind of working in the opposite of what you're normally used to. Normally we take white paper and we put gray and dark and black shadows to create our three-dimensional looking sphere. This time we're going to um, use white and be focusing on our highlights. Okay, so once I've determined where my highlight's going to be, I'm going to start to make just uh I'm going to start coloring in with my colored pencil with circular a circular motion okay I want to try to draw it in the round so I want to keep my um shading my highlighting in more of a round circular motion as opposed to going straight across the object I want to keep the object looking round and in order to do that I have to you know just use a rounded motion and I want to avoid lines and making this sphere look like it's striped. So we're taking a two dimensional circle and by highlighting it on this black paper, we're going to create the illusion that it's a three dimensional form. We're going to make it look round. So I can color in, in small circles, lightly use the side of the tip of your colored pencil, please do not use the tippy tip of your pencil because that's gonna, you're gonna dig lines into the paper and you're you're gonna create lines instead of smooth shading. So the trick really is to use the side of the tip of the pencil, not the tip. So notice my pencil's on an angle. Okay, I'm gonna continue shading and you guys can watch as I finish working on the sphere. I'm also going to take an eraser and I'm going to lighten up the outline of my sphere um, so that it doesn't look cartoony. So now I have most of my sphere highlighted and I went back over the top to lighten it up. I erased the outline so I could just barely see it because I'm gonna kind of disguise it with the background. If you notice, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna color in the background. I'm gonna highlight, kind of make it look like a misty wind blowing in the atmosphere, okay? Maybe this is like celestial outer space type of um, background and I'm um, gonna, kind of bring my colored penciling around and swirl it around to, uh, you know, look like the wind, um, steam, um, cold air. And then um, down here, I just put a horizon line in. On this one, it's a diagonal. This one, I just kind of curved it and um, also gonna come in and create an area where the shadow would be. I'm just gonna use the black of the paper for that and um, lightly sketch almost a full circle, but yours could, be a little bit flatter it's like it's it the ball is like coming off of the ground and this is where the shadow would be so you wouldn't draw the full circle but almost and then there'll be some um, highlighting on the ground and you know the background where you're highlighting actually creates the um, edge of the shadow okay 
So now we're gonna focus on some of the background and putting the stars and the asterisks in and things like that. So I'm gonna do that in a time lapse and you guys can just follow along. Just remember, you don't wanna to press too hard until the end. So you want to lighten up areas at the end of the project, not in the beginning, um, because if you make an area too light, you'll have to erase it. So you just gradually build up those highlights, okay? So we do want a high contrast, but we definitely don't want to make it too bright too fast. Some of the highlights are soft and they're like light gray and they're gonna stay that way so that the sparkles and the stars in the background that you need to make highly contrasted will show up. If everything was the same, you wouldn't have this, um, this effect, okay? You have a sphere that was created through highlighting and if you noticed when you start to really highlight the background it makes the sphere the edge of it look a lot darker as long as you didn't color the whole sphere in white so the negative space actually defines the edge of your positive shape okay by having that background darker where you, uh, lighter where you have the darker edge and then you have a nice contrast from light to dark, okay, with white and black. And then you have some gray values um, as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial on how to draw a sphere on black paper with white colored pencil using highlighting and high contrast from light to dark. I can't wait to see what you've created and uh, make sure you turn it in. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.